Hey guys, Mike B here with Manimal Fitness, and I'm here today with a video to discuss cardio. The infamous C word, right? Um, it's a very controversial topic. There's a lot of misconceptions on how to do cardio, what's the most effective ways, and all that. So here I am, I'm going to break it down and keep it simple, but also give you a pretty detailed explanation um, as to what I think and from my experience is the best way to go about doing cardio. Now before I start this video off, I'm just going to put this out there. Cardio is only there to supplement and assist you with your fat loss. Your fat loss is mostly going to come from your diet. Straight up, I know, you, I know it sucks. I know you hate to hear me say that. If you feel like you got to unsubscribe and run away, do that. Because this channel is all about real talk. And I'm being straight up. If you if you think you can outwork an unbalanced diet in the gym, it ain't gonna happen. So, with that out there, eat clean, be in a caloric deficit, and you're gonna lose weight. Now, if you really want to tone down and burn some extra calorie or some well, extra calories, but burn some extra fat while you know to assist you, cardio is is how you want to go about doing it. So here we go. There's three different types of cardio. There's a slow paced cardio, medium paced cardio, and high intensity cardio. Those aren't the professional technical names for them, but I'm keeping it simple. Like I said, people don't need to hear all the scientific versions. It's, it's low, medium, and high. That's it. All right? Keep it simple. So let's break it down, and we'll start with the low intensity. Now, this is your walking. This is your, you know, something that, you know, you have to breathe at a little higher rate than you would at a, a sitting still, but it's not cardio where you're really panting, because you're not really breathing that heavy. Now, what's great about low intensity cardio is it allows you to burn some extra calories without going into your body's reserves. The medium and high intensity cardio, it's, it's heavy on, on the body, it's hard on the nervous system. So you gotta be careful on how you you know how much of the, of the medium and high cardio you do because you might be dipping in to your muscle reserves and actually burning more muscle and taxing the nervous system more than you want so low intensity cardio is great after a workout you know to burn another 100 150 calories you go out and walk for half an hour 45 minutes and that little bit extra every day is gonna allow your body to burn a little bit more fat without taxing the body. So have your have, kill your workout, weight train, and then go walk for half an hour. And you're gonna find that your heart rate is still up from the workout, and now you're walking and you're keeping that heart rate at a, at a nice pace. You're burning extra calories, but you're not uh, really draining and taxing your body. So that's, that's a, a really good benefit with low intensity cardio. Uh, a negative to it, you're not, it's not as um, effective on its own as, say, HIT, a high intensity cardio or even medium intensity cardio. But when it's paired with high intensity cardio, they work synergistically. So I'm going to skip medium intensity cardio and go right to high intensity because I believe that high intensity and low intensity cardio, they complement each other. They work together. They're, they're, they're really good uh, partners in crime, if you will. Corny, but. Um, and let me explain why. Because on days you have off, like I work out five days a week, I weight train five days a week, so that's two days off. Those two days, I'm in there doing my hit. You don't want to be doing your high intensity cardio on days you weight trained. Your weight training should be taxing enough on your body. You don't need to overdo it. You're not trying to screw yourself for the next day's workout just because you got to get it in today. It's a mistake a lot of people make. They, they ate too much the night before. They're pissed off with themselves. They go in, they kill a workout, they do a hit, they walk after, and then the next day they're wondering why they're drained and they have no energy for their next workout. Well, because you went overboard and you didn't plan and now you're there. So st structure your, your workouts and your weeks so that your cardio is complementing your weight training, your weight training is complementing your cardio, your diet's complementing everything, and you're getting enough sleep to recover and go back at it hard the next day. So 
high intensity cardio is the best cardio for burning stomach and hard to reach fat areas. It, it, you can't beat it. And when I mean high intensity cardio, I mean cardio that has your heart rate elevated to the point where you almost want to throw up. You're, you're right at that point where you, you're almost sick. You're, you're, you're going all out to the point where your body just almost is like, whoa, dude, this is, this is intense. And that's hence the name, high intensity interval training. And so that HIIT training is going to come from bursts of high intensity cardio. So say you're on a bike. You pedal, you pedal, you pedal at a steady pace, and then for 30 seconds, all out. You pedal as hard as you can, you put everything you can into it, and then you come back down, and you catch your breath, do a nice steady pace, up that, up that speed again, go back at it 30 more seconds, everything you got, and then bring it back down. And you just keep doing those intervals over and over, and you do six to eight to 10 of those, and I guarantee your fat is gonna be crying. It's gonna be running away from you. It's not gonna know what else to do. So what's great about high intensity cardio is like I said, it burns those hard to reach fat areas. Now, if you're looking for overall fat loss, I wouldn't say uh, HIIT training is the best method. It'll definitely work. Um, I think the pairing of HIIT with low intensity cardio is really where you're gonna get the most results. Um, the low intensity you can do on your workout days. So now you had a beast workout, you do some low intensity cardio, you go home, you eat good, sleep good, wake up the next day, and that's when you do your hit. And then nothing else, no weight training, no low intensity cardio, you do your hit, go on throughout your day, the next day or two, you do the weight training and then you do the low intensity cardio. Every day you're doing that weight training, you're doing that low intensity cardio. And you just get in that habit, program your body to be like, okay, we're gonna be doing a little bit more today and it's gonna adapt quick. It's not gonna be uh, as taxing as you think. So with that said, you pair the low intensity with the high intensity and you're gonna get great results. One without the other isn't that effective. You pair them both together and you're gonna see big changes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So let's get into the third type of cardio, the one I hate, and that's medium intensity. That's for all you people who love to go to the gym and jog and watch Netflix and hang out, essentially, in your own zone. Um, not that medium intensity cardio doesn't work, but as far as effectiveness, it's just not as strategically advantageous as far as burning specific fat. Like that walking cardio after your workout is gonna burn fat all over your body. That high intensity cardio is gonna target those specific hard to, hard to burn fat areas. And the medium cardio, it's like, okay, well, it's good over here. It's pretty good for this and it's pretty good for that, but it's not as efficient. You know, I relate it to almost like the bench press. You can do flat bench, nothing wrong with it, but you're recruiting much, more, many more muscle fibers when you do an incline bench and a decline bench as opposed to a flat. And it's a very similar, you know, analogy to the cardio. Because yeah, that medium cardio is great, you're gonna get results, but eventually those results are gonna slow down because it's not as effective, it's not as strategic, it's not designed to burn specific fats in certain areas because anyone can burn fat all over their body. That part isn't that hard, but everyone's got those stubborn areas, those love handles, that lower stomach, the thighs, the butt, you know, those, areas you're not going to see you're not going to see results uh, nearly as quickly with medium cardio as you would with low intensity combined with high intensity so i know that's a lot i know it's a little confusing initially but you have to look at your your workouts for the week as just that you you don't want to go in day by day and just pour everything you have into that one workout you have to leave a little bit in your tank 
for the next few days because you get much better results in the gym and outside of the gym when you do things that are consistent as opposed to waves. You know, a lot of people, they'll, they'll have these dips and they'll eat crappy and they'll, you know, have all these issues going on in their life, which is understandable. And then they, they reach a point where they're so upset with how things have gotten that they just go all out the other way. And they start pouring everything they have into, you know, every kind of cardio and their weight training gets crazy. And then they burn out and they don't look as good and then they're back dipping again. So when it comes to weight training and cardio, guys, the whole experience, you're going to get the best results from consistent small steps. Be strategic. Be smart in how you go about doing this. Have a plan. I call it a battle plan because this, this is war. You have to have you know, different ammunition in your arsenal to be able to attack your body in different ways in order to get the results you're looking for. You can't have a, a stagnant or a one-way mindset and expect that you're going to get the best results. So, quick overview. I know I said a little bit more than I expected to. But quick overview, three types of cardio, low, medium, and high. When you compare the low intensity cardio with the high intensity cardio, you're going to get the best results straight up. I don't care what anybody else says or what anybody tells you. That's the best way to attack the fat in your body. It's also the best um, on your, it, it, it's the healthiest way to go about doing your cardio because that high intensity is going to challenge you. It's going to put your body in this position where it, it's, it has to grow. Your cardiovascular system is forced to grow during those hit sessions and that's going to translate to better workouts because your workout should almost be a hit session. It should be so intense that you're, you're sweating, your heart rate's up and that's kind of why you use the low intensity cardio after your workout to complement and to, you know, to, to help out with that fat burning because you're already at an elevated heart rate. So now let's just use that elevated heart rate, walk at a steady pace, burn some extra calories without taxing the body. And then on those off days, the days you're not weight training, you go in, you hit your hit cardio, you kill it, you know, and, and that's, you're going to see great results, you know, if, if you're one of those people out there that loves to jog, I have a lot of friends who jog and they'll do 7, 10, 15 miles. Um, I, I, and, I, and I hear from them all the time, oh, it's that high I get. It's that feeling of, because, uh, you, you know, you start to, you get addicting. You get addicted to long, long distance running. Um, there's endorphins that are released that it's almost an addictive feeling. And people get addicted to that feeling more then they're actually strategizing a plan for results. So always remember you have a goal, stay on point, stay on target, and remember that not everything has to be crazy, crazy intensive all the time. You have to think about it as you're dividing your workouts throughout the week so that your workout on Friday isn't gonna hurt your workout on Saturday because that workout on Saturday you want to complement your workout on Sunday. You see what I'm saying? Don't look at it as a one-dimensional thing. Your, your, your training program for the week, for the month, for the year, that's how you want to structure your weight training and your cardio. You want to look at it as a whole unit and you want to develop good healthy patterns of weight training and cardio that you're not taxing your body you're not putting your body in a position where it wants to burn muscle and you're not putting your body in a position where it wants to hold on to fat and, and not burn the fat because that's, that's another tricky thing with the medium cardio is that when your body feels like it's burning all these calories, you're running 7 to 10 miles, your body starts to realize, hey, I got to hold on to this fat because we're burning a lot right now and... I need to reserve some energy just in case we don't get food because your body is a fat storing machine. That's how it's designed to work. But what's nice about low intensity, it's not putting your body in a position where it wants to burn muscle. It's just a nice steady pace and your body will actually go to your fat, fat reserves 
um, and burn those first. And same with the hit. The hit doesn't have time to go to your muscle. Your muscle just takes too long to break down. So it goes to your stored fat for energy and your simple carbs. And, and that's why it's so effective in burning those harder reach areas because that's the first place it goes to. That's the first place that it looks for energy because um, it knows that it's stored there. Your body, your body's smarter than you think it is. It's just learning how your body works, how your body responds to certain types of cardio, certain nutrients, and learning what works best for you. This is all a personal experience, so you have to find what works best for you. With all that said, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section below. Please subscribe over there. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know where it is. There, maybe. Um, there's going to be a lot more videos to come. There's a lot of different controversial topics that I have to discuss that a lot of my clients are confused about. And instead of trying to individually explain things to them, I figure let's make some video series that explain and puts everything out there so that they can go back and refer to it when they need to. So it is what it is. Get your cardio in. Keep working hard, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.